Quasi cameras here. This is a video I was thinking about making for a while now. I happened to catch this uh, news uh, report with a, uh, I don't know if he'd call him a buddy, but I, I know who he is, okay? This uh, this Frank Fagiano. And if you're wondering, it is it is pronounced Fagiano with the with a ja. Ja, not the, not the ga in there, okay? It's Fagiano. All right, anyway. He is a chief of police in Elmwood Park. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to get people, they're trying to get uh, access to being able to spy on you is what they're doing. They're, they're, and some people are stupid enough to fall for this too. That they're, this is a, a video where they're encouraging people to, for $100 to give up a little bit of their privacy to the police. I would never do it. I have cameras outside the house. I would never even think of getting $100 from the cops to grant them access to view those cameras anytime they want. Now, granted, he did say they're not looking for access inside the house, although some people are pretty stupid, and they give them that too. I know Ring does have a program where you can do that, that uh, supposedly they will respond much faster if they can. If, you, if your alarm goes off, they can look inside the house. If there is actually someone breaking into the house, they will respond sooner despite the supposed safeguards to ensure privacy it's not something that i would trust in addition there may be a time when that camera would be used against you earlier this month the village of elmwood park approved a plan to pay for residents security cameras in exchange for giving access to police and it looks like it's already paying off joining us now to discuss this is chief of police frank Fagiano. and frank uh, thanks for Coming on, uh, I guess this plan was approved just last week, and I understand you've already uh, caught at least one criminal. Tell us what happened. That's right. Thank you for having me. On December 12th, at approximately 6 p.m., the Elmwood Park resident observed on a ring doorbell camera a suspect crying her rear door open. She was, uh, she was out of town with her family. She contacted the police. A short time later, officers responded, saw the suspect exiting the back door, turned into a foot chase. The suspect was caught, placed under arrest, and charged accordingly. Wow. Well, thanks. We're watching this happen with this uh, video. So let's step back for a moment and explain to us how this program there works. So the program is based on, uh, we call it the Security Camera Partnership Registration Program. This was passed on December 6th at the village board meeting by our village president, Skip Saviano, and our board of trustees. The Village of Elmwood Park will reimburse residents 50% of the cost of the purchase and installation of the video surveillance equipment, but not to exceed $100. Right. And do you know how many people have taken advantage of it so far? So far, we had several people call and contact us to join the program. We are collecting a database of everybody so far that joined the program. However, you don't have to be part of the program for the reimbursement. You could also just provide your information. So has anyone expressed concerns about privacy? And what do you say to anyone who might have some concerns? So the, actually the privacy, there's no privacy because it's outside the cameras. So it's an open view or plain view. We're not asking for any cameras inside your house. If you would like to provide video footage from the outside, your alley, front door, garage, or anything of that nature. So Frank, uh, just in summary, you're pretty encouraged to this point about how this is going to work for you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have 10,000 households in Elmwood Park. Our goal is to get 50 to 75 percent. In addition, with the 200 cameras, the village of Elmwood Park also has in its that review. Well, Chief Fagiano, thank you so much for doing this, and good luck. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, that'd be all it is. There you have it. For $100, you can give the EPPD, not to mention all the other police departments that are going to jump on this if they have not done so already access into wherever you want to point this camera at i'm saying that because he was mentioning to put it in in the front of the house maybe the back of the alley i can kind of see the point why he would want it knowing the experience i have with security cameras right now dealing with them and how they've come in handy in my life right but who's going to safeguard these these cameras from being abused What's going to prevent a bunch of officers sitting there having a party watching what goes on in your 
property.